Hey there. Um, this is the first series for the self injury, self harm videos. So, um, actually, for this series, I only have one book right now. But if I have more in future, I will upload it. Uh, any my book review on it. So this is the book that I'm going to talk about. It's Cut by Patricia McCormack. Um, she has spent years working on this, researching on this novel. So, and oh, and then she also wrote, uh, sold Purple Heart, and My Brother's Keeper. I don't know what it is about. So, the main character of this book is Kelly, and she cut herself, like. A self injury. She she cut herself, so never too deep, never too deep enough to die. But then it was just enough to feel the pain. I'm sure all of you who are watching this video, self harmers, you know how it feels like. It's not for attention. It's not for. It's not to kill yourself. It's not to end your life. It's just a release of pain inside to feel the warmth of the blood coming out to see the line on your arm mm, I mean to me that's what it feels like that's why I do it like that's why I, it's like a coping mechanism just just as like eating disorder and all that it's just a way to survive a way to deal with everything that is happening around that can't be controlled and it's like it's just a release so um so now basically Kelly it's sent to a residential treatment facility um, with girls struggling with problems of their own I mean in a treatment facility you will see people dealing with drug abuse um, eating disorder, all sorts of mental illness and then um, at first she doesn't want to have anything to do with them she doesn't want to uh, she doesn't want to make friends it's like you know usually in treatment facility they just tell you okay what do you want to talk or not it's up to you uh, but you're in here for therapy so it depends on your progress and stuff so so it started off that she wasn't speaking to anybody, she wasn't making friends with anybody. But she can only stay silent for so long. You're at a facility, it costs you money. What is the best way out? And it's not just about... I think I need to keep the music shut. Um, it's not just about... It's not just about the money, it's about your own personal well-being. It's about learning how to cope with things in your life. So, so basically what this is, this book is about how she came to terms, how she started talking, how she making friends with people in the facilities and um, And how she like, wait, let me look at that. Oh yeah, and in the end, he cope with every, like, he dealt with her issues and she was discharged from the facilities. So, this book, it's, I mean, there aren't many books particularly focusing on just self-harm without relating to other mental issues so if you're wanting to look at something that just relate to self-injury this is the book and um, it's a pretty thin book as you can see this author by the way um, it's a very, very, pretty thin book with pretty big words so you can finish it in like minutes instead not in in a day so 
so I mean, this is a quite a nice book because um, she talks about self injury and like how she, what she went through in the facilities. And actually, I can put it under the hospitalization experience, but this is particularly focusing on self injury. That's why I separate them. So check it out if you're interested. Um, hopefully, I can try to update uh, more videos on like this kind of book review because I do have a lot of books on the general, but not a lot on mental illness. Um, so please bear with me if I upload like quite a number on general. But those that I recommend, even in the general series, they are pretty good books, and I. I, I read them because I will look at a storyline and I choose them and it may turn out to be good or excellent and when it's really really good I would mention in the video that I would highly suggest you to get a one and read it. So that's the end for the video. Check this book out if you're interested. See you.